Hello everyone, Unknown Reefer here. Uh, I thought I'd bring you a slightly different video today. Um, I thought I'd talk about my experience with white spot or ick. Um, I'm going to say it now, there is ick in this tank, um, but it is managed. So I don't actually see any signs of it on any fish, but I haven't quarantined anything that's gone into this fish, into this tank. Um, and I don't actually see any signs of it. The only signs I've seen in this tank was um, when I got this five foot tank, I promised the wife she could have a regal tank. And I tried two small ones. The first one just didn't make it straight away. Um, and the second one was doing good for about a week. And then it came out nick. Um, and it died off. Um, I have had in the previous tank to this, the four foot one that cracked. Um, I had put some amphias in. Um, then one of them showed a couple of little spots on one of its fins. So I put some reef safe treatment in, never saw anything past that. I then in the forefoot put in a powder blue and that was my downfall. Um, I didn't quarantine the powder blue tank because I'd seen a couple of spots on the amphia, but everything had been all right in the end. So I thought, oh, well, I've got ick in the tank. It'll be all right, I'll manage it. I had a, a below par UV at the time, um, so um, I put the powder blue in, and the powder blue had it almost constantly. It would get rid of it, it would come back, it would get rid of it, it would come back, um, which wasn't really a problem. It was swimming around and eating fine. Um, in fact, I think the cause of the ick was the fact it kept getting attacked by my fox face I had at the time. It's not this one, the previous one that was much bigger. Um, so it just never managed to properly get going. Unfortunately, because it was so weak, it acted as a host for the ick. Um, so I actually lost um, a couple of amphias, just your normal light tail amphias, um, and I lost a mandarin, which was quite shocking because they're meant to have thicker slime coats and not be so susceptible to um, parasites. But yeah, I managed to lose a mandarin from it as well. Um, the My purple tang, which is hiding down the rocks, I've just walked close to the tank, came out in ick. The fox face I had at the time came out in ick. Um, I think my clowns had a couple of spots on them, but not much really. Um, and I only had two chromis in there at the time, and that damsel, and they, I think, sh didn't show any signs of it, actually. Um, so I kept going through this routine of it flaring up, going away, it flaring up, going away, uh, until eventually the powder blue died off, and then within about a week of it dying off, all the ick was gone, um, no signs of it at all in the tank, I've had no signs of it when the last tank cracked and all the fish had to be held in just a tank out in the conservatory, um, with me walking past the tank and them looking pretty stressed out to be fair, no signs of it flared up. So, um, I would say, and please don't skip quarantine, just because I say this, by all means, quarantine, that is always the better way. Um, but I would say, if you're careful with your fish purchases, and avoid, well, if, if you're going to manage it and you're not going to quarantine, avoid things like the powder blues and the Achilles tangs. Um, they're a bit more susceptible to it. The, the Purple Tang, I actually had to go in the shop hold for about six weeks as he was a Christmas present and I saw it in November. Um, but all my other fish I've never really quarantined. I have had the odd fish that's gone in that I've seen one or two spots on. If you get them feeding, it usually goes away in a couple of days. Um, and again, I don't quarantine my corals, I dip my corals. And I use natural seawater, so there's obviously a chance something might come in on that, but... I run a Vectron 600 UV in this tank, um, and if I do see anything I don't like, I, I usually put some Octosin um, Reef Safe Treatment in as well. But yeah, um, really, if you if you see it, don't panic. If you've got the facility to quarantine everything and run your tank fallow for three months, by all means do it. 
eradicate it and then make sure you quarantine everything after um, but if you don't have that I would personally say if you have a fish come out and ick by the time you've seen it come out on that fish your whole tank will have ick in it somewhere it'll be down in the sand bed and it'll be going for its life cycle so I personally think the best thing you can do is feed it up feed it up with some garlic and some ginger I've heard also helps um, maybe put a reef soap treatment in but don't go chasing around the tank unless you can take all those fish out and quarantine them and treat them with copper if you can't do that you kind of just got to stay the course feed them up make their life as stress free as possible and from my experience this is only my experience the fish will get over it okay hope you found that interesting Thanks for watching.